Alessandra being able to dictate the pace of the play is really going to be the key yeah, in this match. Yeah, it's really going to be Crispy trying to get into Parten's game, I think. Yeah. Alright. We're jumping into game one. Best of five. And uh, of course, obviously, this is going to be a round robin haul between Zone and Crispy. Obviously, the other two contenders uh, from the UK are SCR and Jackster. And then Bloom Forever, the man who made an absolute legendary run, uh, is in this pool as well. So, we're already starting on Stadium. I think this is a good stage for both these characters. But yeah. it, I think because it's quite a large stage, I think Chris can definitely pick and choose his points a lot easier this way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, it'll be interesting to see how Chris actually adapts to that. It's relatively easy for him. You can see we're about 30 seconds in, and there's not a lot of stuff that's happening so far, but that's kind of going to be the pace of this game. It's going to be very meticulous between these it'll two. It'll be a lot of just one-hit trades back and off, three-set neutral. Oh, Ooh. and that being said, you're going to get some fighting reads as well with that forward yeah. to Crispy really roll in. Really nice stuff there. He's doing a really good job of controlling center stage. Yeah, he's doing a really good job of actually keeping Palatina in his field right now. So he gets a nice dash back grab. Now he needs to do well when Chris is on the ledge. Chris is really, really good when it comes to getting off the edge. Uh, but I don't know, man. Like, Zone is definitely one of the better players in this game when it comes to kind of yeah. trapping people at the ledge as well. Palatina allows the bat and he just amplifies it to the max. Two in there. And there does really, really well. Pretty much against every single aerial that Crispy yeah. has with that. And I, so it's going to be oh, a bit of a miss input. And he's going to get punished for it. Chris is absolutely not pulling any punches and taking that 100%. Really good play from him to, yeah. to pounce straight away on that mistake. Really early KO from that like as well. And he just buffing the Nandos down there as well. Maybe he could have made back the teleport, but... I'm not going to go back for going to take that 140. Very, very difficult to punish Palutena when she's zipping around the stage like that, especially yeah. when she's then cancelling on those, those PS platforms, so the invincibility almost means nothing. <laughs> no, it just feels like style at that point. Exactly. Barrett is doing a really, really good job so far of just kind of keeping Chris towards the ledge, but Chris doing a good job of getting out of the ledge where he can. Yeah, only taking like 20% from it and just managing to get back on stage but wants to get back on the ledge again. Back to the center stage. Yeah, it certainly could have been a lot worse there for Chris, so. Okay, we're going to get a nice little ladder. A lot of percent Ooh. here. He's still going it's with like it. six. Wow, I, <laughs> like that you, I like that use of the forward tilt there. Yeah, just catching him on the end of it. Again, every bit of percent helps. It's now about even percent again, suddenly. Chris taking every single hit as far as he could possibly get. It's funny, you mentioned kind of how it was going to be one hit trades, and I was very much yeah. on the same boat as you, but I don't know, man. Like, I feel like Chris, he's definitely kind of trying to cook a little bit higher than that. Every time he gets in, he's definitely making the most of when he gets in. Yeah, I feel like sure. he's struggling to get in against Palatine as much as he can, but when he gets in, he's hitting like 40% combo. Okay. Catching the back here. One too many down tilts there. Yeah, you need to be very, very careful when you when you... Meta Knight throwing out those poking options because generally speaking they are quite good to poke but when you've got Palutena kind of just zipping around that PS platform as well it's difficult to, yeah. to get something off it. Any kind of a drop down aerial is going to catch him. Good patience from zone there not to rush out of the corner just to hold shield for a second and let Crispy kind of throw out an option and then react to it. Yeah. I like that choice. Oh, okay. That was a big call out from zone. Oh my god he went for another. <laughs> Feeling himself a bit too much there, going for an S smash, just hard read on the ledge. Okay, no massive punish on that tornado no. because he was facing away. I think if he was facing the other side, you could get an up smash off that, but yeah, no bother. He's got a pretty healthy lead here, so yeah, it's gonna be a lot for Meta Knight to make up, especially with Palutena's control. He's gonna struggle to get in and finish this stock, even. Ooh, hey, wow, that's the that dash shit. Jeez. Yeah. I, I, I'm surprised the dash attack did it. Maybe it wasn't uh, the, the optimal DI for that, but... No, I don't think he was expecting the uh, dash attack to come up. Probably expecting another down to potentially. Catch him with the up B. Now throw it to back. Oh, he tries to read the instant air dodge upwards. Go for that up air, but it's not going to work out. It's got about 120% damage. It's going to be a massive uphill battle even if he does do it here. That being said, if Chris gets one hit, he can definitely get a ladder into maybe a tornado, maybe a bridge combo as well with the down airs. Took a stock at like, what, 60% earlier? Yeah, so. I find it a lot slower now, I feel like, rather than rushing in and going for the pokey options. I'd say that, just dash tags twice on his shield. Okay, tracks the roll back. Tracks him with that dash attack as well, zone definitely in the ascendancy so far. Oh, that back air was so close to hit him, but man, that's low stature. Helped a lot. Starting the upper string again. Okay, he's got him with a lot of pressure here. Oh, the drag down. 
He's got him on the ledge, goes for the forward smash, but zone smart enough to hold shield. And there's your dash attack, that's going to take yeah, the stock. scooping him out. Game one going to zone. Um, getting a little bit nervy towards the end. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. But ultimately able to clutch it out, which is ideal. I feel like Crispy was doing a very good job of getting back onto the stage. I feel like uh, he was doing a very good job of dealing with Power Tennis Edge cards. Because Magic get back on stage, only taking like, what, 20% each time and yeah. resetting centre stage. But yeah, it was just yeah, yeah. getting in from that centre stage position he was trying to struggle with. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So I think if um, if you're crispy in this situation, you probably you almost want to try and go to a bit of a smaller stage, maybe something like a smash build. Yeah. So I think I think try and get a stage that has as limited platforms as you can. Yeah, you don't want anything other than that. I mean, you can get up strings off of them, but Palutena's up airs are going to be yeah, a lot I, more. Yeah, I just feel like Zelda's getting a lot off of the platforms. Yeah, Not definitely. only, I mean, we saw him messing around with the kind of auto cancels when Chris has his invincibility, which is fair enough, that's what it was. <laughs> but nice. you saw it a little bit, I think, when uh, Zelda took Crispy's second stop, he used the PS platform to kind of almost weave around Crispy's hitbox and oh, hit yeah. him the back air. That's the kind of situation, especially in that center stage kind of area, that you really don't want to put yourself in, so... Mm. Try and limit the amount of platforms that you probably get on your stage. So Smashville might be a choice or something like that. But they've gone PS2, straight back to PS2. Fair enough. Ooh. Yeah, she said just immediately making use of the platform, getting the two up there a bit, and putting on fifty percent. Again, just poking at his shield a little bit unsafely there, Chris. And he Catch gets punished for it straight away. Definitely a little bit faster paced this first yeah, half of the game like so far. Both players are immediately going in and making a lot more aggressive choices. Oh, that was a big Ooh. commitment from Crispy, trying to read some kind of jump off of the ledge, uh, which to be fair, it hasn't actually done that often. No. So it's a big read to say yeah. the least. I feel like Zone's been very patient on the ledge as well. The edge cancel, not going to go for any nair, just goes for the auto right goal to Green control the, the way he's well. getting to the stage. Yeah, it feels like Chris is going to hit his shield a lot and then Zone's just managing to hold shield, wait patiently and then just get an option out of it, punishing the main nice options. Back air out shield in this instance with the one. Mm. Um, Chris nearly getting that read of the roll in, but just letting go of that special lip. Uh, forward special as I saw him a little bit too late. As you said, the man is really struggling when it's either of them both using the aerial and air tech combat, it's just yeah, Palutena coming out on top every time. Yeah, say, yeah because Palutena's aerial game is so strong, and Meta Knight, that's probably one of his biggest threats as well. Yeah. So really kind of nullifies one of the big threats that Meta Knight has in this matchup, especially when you do things like back air and air out shield. Yeah, it's really going to cover the Palutena. He's playing very aggressive on the ledge, they're going two down and trying to catch you getting up back. Oh, there's your drill, nice. that's going to take the stock. Yep, nice. Good read and roll. I actually covered quite a couple of options there um, on the tech, so good yep. option there from Chris to take that stock. Not too much of a percent to make up, but it is about 50%. Yeah, definitely not. Nice. He always takes one of these. Oh, he gets the reset by landing. 35 off of that one interaction, really good, and nice. he gets the parry. Paris from both players. Yeah. Like Chris starting to wake up in this matchup a little bit more, but then as soon as that happens, zone just zone him out again. <laughs> Jumps here from zone, trying to bait out something from, from Crispy at ledge to be a nice. little bit impatient and hit him with the back air, but Chris not biting. He's got a lot of these F Smash reads, to be honest. It works way more than I feel like it is. Yeah. I feel like F, F Smash as a move is just not that big a commitment with Meta Knight no. because of the lack of lag that it has at the end of it. So you can kind of throw it out when you're in that mid range and maybe catch zone slipping. He's hit him with it like three or four times as well now. Yeah. You obviously don't want to to kind of tunnel vision on that because obviously you got a really big read in that first game with it, um, but don't want to over-centralize on one particular game plan. Oh, could have been a back throw Ooh. there from zone, but Chris not giving him it. Back end nearly taking it. Wow. Nice catch from the back Very, very, very brave recovery there from yeah. Chris to to do that straight onto stage. I mean, I can understand the mix-up for sure, mm. uh, but Zone 100% ready for it. Really good stuff there. Yeah, Zone's been very patient on the left, waiting for him to use an option most of the time. 
Nice. Let's nice get the drill. You can definitely get with that yeah. at very early percent. That very late percent is a good option at ledge. I've seen a couple of those down smashes come out to yeah. try and read the roll in uh, from a tech. But unfortunately, it's just not working out. Yeah, whoa, just like that. that killed. Okay, never mind. I was about to say that killed. Yeah, early. <laughs> that killed like it would have killed like eighty percent. Yeah. It's stuck already much quicker though. I feel like they could get on the wrong patient and just kind of walking into the option. So unlucky, yeah. Mm. Me again, and I think the back is not going to take it. Surely, sparks happen, but quiet. This is tough now for Chris. A whole stop to make up. Uh, so, the ledge for the back. so patient, yeah. so patient with that play. You saw the way that he kind of reset the situation when he was at the ledge. And it's like, okay, you come to me then if that's yeah. what we're going to be doing. And Chris but took the bait you can and do he that. got a pivot back through. So, really good stuff. And that's the thing, I think when Meta Knight doesn't have the lead in this matchup, it's so difficult. Yeah, it's, it's really, really difficult. difficult. He struggles again anyway. At least when he has the lead, he can make Palutena approach him and hit him with a down tilt yeah. and even with these smash reads and stuff like that. But when. When Zone has the lead, it's just Zone can play patient throughout his back end. Yeah. It's away from the throws and those kind of things, and Meta Knight can't really do too much to contest it. So, Zone 2 up at the moment. Chris almost trying to compose himself a little bit. Think about how he's going to approach this game 3 and make sure that he's got a chance of taking the set. Uh, if he is going to take the set, it's going to be uh, quite quite the mountain to climb here. Yeah, definitely. We can't play a lot more patient. Yeah, you can almost see straight away he's just like standing still. That's the kind of thing you want to see. Oh, wow, yeah. He's going for a lot of grabs here in this early stage and yeah. getting punished for it because Zone Strip is jumping over him. Oh, it's a jab. Gonna get an up arrow. Oh, gonna get forward. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's nice on that. He's doing a really good job of keeping Palace at the ledge here. I'm not letting that get back on. I can say that. He's getting back to the stage again. I'm catching with a jab. Okay, tries to read the tech roll in again. But he goes for it. Oh, so it doesn't work out. But the ledge tries to go for a note, but they're done it, and that was really, really interesting read there from Dome. Because he's really patient, he's going to make sure he was jumping to make sure the Dome was catching. This, this is yeah. the tough spot now for Crispy to get off this ledge properly. Another back there will be really dangerous for him as well. Just catching dash. A lot of the options that he has are quite reactable from Zone in yeah. the situation. It's so yeah. tough here for Crispy, especially when he's there. Zone's just, just got his number when he's getting off the ledge every single time. Yeah. Never know one of the S three for the jumping pipe from this time. Dash second. Then again, this is when Palio has the lead. You can kind of just slow the game down so much if yeah. you need to, and it's all about Crispy trying to approach with those. What we said before, those predictable options that Meta Knight kind of has. And then Palio can just keep turning with like dash tag for whatever to these combos. But there we go. Ooh. That'll do it. Okay. This is interesting though, we didn't talk about uh, talking to Battlefield. I don't I was saying about platforms earlier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I think Battlefield as a stage is definitely an interesting choice. I think this is one of Palo's better stages to say at least. Whoa! Oh my word! From downtown with our back air, jeez. Don't just the patient way for this option. Jesus, yeah, that was um was an early stop as well. Half, yeah. Yeah, this is Quick 40% this is on now, this is this is really tough now for Crispy because, like, when you're in that situation where you're kind of making the comeback, you get that nice shuttle loop kill as well. Um, so we should stop about 70% to a back end that deep down. Right, the same thing was going to happen again. That's all yeah. the bug going down. Oh my god, went for a forward smash, but Chris reading that really well, reacting to it perfectly with that dimensional cape. Yeah, they put a little percent on, but then he tries to follow up the combo and get in, and Tyler just walls him out in the back air again. Yeah. Jabs collide in there. No one's going off stage. He really just doesn't need to commit to going off stage at all, Healy Zone. No. He kind of just back air in place and then switch it. Oh yeah, my god. Like and just like that, that's going to be 3 0 to Zone. Very commanding. 
feel like the last game was way more commanding. The other games, I feel like all the last stocks that Palutena was on it. Whenever Palutena got that stock lead and was the stock ahead, he just ran away with the game. Almost. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. I mean, in that matchup in particular, when, like, I keep saying it, but.